Hey, let's bring in our Brit Clinton. She's traveling with the president in Tokyo for more. So, Brit, what does this mean for the already high tensions uh, between the U.S. and China, particularly now? Well, it will certainly uh, complicate talks between Washington and Beijing, Kira. China, as we know, has repeatedly warned the U.S. not to play the Taiwan card. And, and as you say, Kira has said uh, that uh, it shouldn't underestimate China and its resolve to protect its territorial integrity. China, though, on an economic level, it's indicated uh, that it wants things to work out. That's especially the case since China's economy is facing a slowdown. But politically, Kira, these comments really put both sides in a bind. Who wins out? Is it the political side or is it the economic side? Are they able to look past this blunder uh, that has been walked back, of course, by White House aides? Or will Beijing be offended that this is somehow deliberate? But when it comes to China, there's no doubt about it. There is no issue, Kira, that is more sensitive than the issue of Taiwan. Taiwan is the reddest of red lines. Yeah, and China set to be a main focus, of course, when the president meets with leaders of the other Quad nations, right? India, Japan, Australia, all tomorrow. What can we expect to come out of that meeting? Well, we do know that the message throughout Biden's trip, it's been uh, wanting to deliver this message to, to leaders in the region that the U.S. Is, is serious and is dedicated to uniting its friends and allies here. That's really what Biden has uh, honed in on. And that message will also be brought to the Quad Summit tomorrow, where China says that the U.S.-led Indo-Pacific strategy, it's all a ploy to create divisions and incite confrontation in the region. Uh, and while there will be a number of talking points up on the, the table, uh, during the Quad Summit tomorrow, how to deal with an emboldened China, one that has been flexing its military and economic muscles in the region. That will be front and center, Kira. Britt Clinton, traveling with the president. We will continue to follow the trip. Thank you so much, Britt.